Hey guys, how's it going? So, um, I have something I really want to talk about. It's kind of... Uh, basically, I read a story via a link from the Twilight Examiner on Twitter about a Twilight fan who... And I'm reading from the page here now because I've only just read this and it really got to me. Um, a Twilight fan has written into the LA Times slash Chicago Tribune's Ask Amy column for advice. And she hasn't admitted in the column that she's a Twilight fan, but she's given all these hints and it's become pretty obvious. And she said that she's really attached to the primary male character. She says she feels like she's missing a lot all of a sudden. She keeps thinking about this character wanting a love like he has. And Amy from Ask Amy has said that she needs to seek professional help. And I disagree completely. I disagree so much that it makes me angry that I <coughs> excuse me so this really got to me personally because I've had a lot of the same kind of thing people have come to me and said to me you've gone too far you're too obsessed you're ruining your life you're making a mockery of yourself all this stuff and both online and in my real life and you know what two fingers up to them fuck you Excuse my language. If you don't like it, well, then don't watch. Um, my opinion is what counts as far as my life is concerned. As long as the decisions that I make in my life do not physically hurt anybody else. As far as I'm concerned, that's all that counts. Now, if I am obsessed with Twilight, which for the record, I am. <laughs> I love Twilight. I think it's fucking awesome. Um, who has got the right to tell me that I can't like it just because they think that it's not worthy of being obsessed over? Well, no one has, let me tell you that for a start, and anybody that tries to tell me that is going to get a mouthful. So, I get really annoyed when people try and do this, because it's like people trying to take away my free will, and I know what most of you are going to say, the video in which I referred to Breaking Dawn haters as fuckwits and all the rest of it, whatever it was. But at the end of the day, the people that hate on Breaking Dawn, the people that... And, and just to clear this up once and for all, when I referred to Breaking Dawn haters, I was referring to people who have read the book or not read the book and then actively go make the effort to go online or go up to people or contact people who like Twilight and put it down to them because that hurts them, okay? That really gets to them. It doesn't get to me anymore because I've dealt with that. When I made the video, I dealt with it. But yeah, it pisses me off. Who the fuck do you think you are that you have the right to go up to someone and tell them that they can't like something just because you don't think it's worthy of being liked? Such a lot of bullshit. It's the same shit that Stephen King came out with that Stephanie Meyer can't write. Your opinion, mate, alright? And to be honest with you, I don't really value your opinion and I know a lot of other people that don't value your opinion. So what if you've got fans? So what if you've sold however many fucking millions of books? So is Stephanie Meyer, okay? And just because she appeals to a different audience than you does not mean that you have the right to turn around and say that that audience is invalid because of their choices in literature, okay? So shut the fuck up. Okay, point number two. If you're going to tell someone that they can't like something just because you don't think it's worthy of being liked, fine, do it. But expect them to stand up for themselves. Don't you dare tell them to seek professional help. You've got no right. You have got no right to tell someone that they can't feel the way they feel about a character in a book. If it's their feelings, so what? Who cares? I personally think that I'm one of the most obsessed Twilight fangirls, and I openly admit that, that there is. Perez Hilton says I'm the number one Twilight fan. So, yeah, I think I probably am up there with the number ones. Um, I'm not a colonist, because I think that's going a little bit too far, but that's just my opinion. But then again, if they want to do it, let them do it. If they're happy, if they're not hurting anybody, then why is it such a problem? Okay? My point is, you can't tell people that they can't think something or feel something if that something isn't affecting you, okay? You can't just walk up to someone and go, you're wrong because you love that person. You've got no right, okay? If it has no effect on you or your life, 
if you can walk away from it or not watch that video or not read that comment or that post or that tweet or that Facebook status update or whatever it is that concerns the love that they have for that something, be it a fictional character, a person, an animal, a book, a place, whatever, how dare you think it's okay to do that? It's not, okay? And there is no reason to seek professional help because you're in love. Because having a passion for something is what makes the world go round. Being able to walk into a job interview and saying, I have a passion for sales, or I have a passion for making videos online about the things that I care about, whatever it is that you've got a passion for, I think you will find is a much sought after attribute. One that not a lot of people can say they've got, because not a lot of people are open-minded enough to be able to get on with it and admit that they actually think and feel and care about something the way that they do. Because they've been taught their whole lives to shut up and not care and not say it out loud and not admit that they really feel that way because it's not right to admit your feelings in public. BULLSHIT! If you want to admit it, admit it. And anybody that wants to try and tell me different can just fucking get on with it because they will get a mouthful, okay? Because I'm not having your shit. Deal with it. So, in summary, don't you dare try and tell someone that they can't love something. If it's not hurting you, and it's not hurting anybody else, and it's not physically... If it's not stopping them from living their life... Do you know what? Even, no, not even that. If they want to do it, it's fine. Okay? If they're hurting themselves physically, then I would say that's borderline. But unless they're actually causing physical harm... Why is that your business? Do you know what I mean? If that's the way someone wants to live their life, why is that your problem? How dare you tell them they can't? So get over yourself because you don't have the right to play God with someone else's emotions. You're more than welcome to have your own emotions, but you cannot tell someone else what they should or should not think or feel unless they're causing harm to you. The problem that I have with Breaking Dawn haters was that people were actively coming up to me, contacting me, making an actual effort to contact me to tell me that Twilight and Breaking Dawn was shit and all the rest of it. And that got to me. And I'll admit, maybe some of the things that I said in that video went a bit too far, but I am always going to be the kind of person that believes that a person has a right to an opinion. And anybody that tries to take anybody's opinion away from them, well, they can answer to me because I'm not going to sit here and take it. So... Yeah, thanks for watching, and feel free to leave a bitchy comment in the below, because... In the below? In the below! Feel free to leave a bitchy comment down there. I normally read all the comments until the little 4chan buckwits turn up and start saying their shit, and then I just stop. So, yeah. I hope I made sense.